contrary to Christ. They do not exalt Christ. They do not love Christ. This is not a concert that glorifies God. It glorifies flesh. It glorifies sin. It glorifies Satan. I know, I know. So that's why we come. We come. No, your heart is wicked. Your heart is deceitful. Your heart is unclean. You're living in sin itself and selfishness. And Christ comes and says, I will deliver you. I will set you free. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. You need him or you'll burn in hell. Hallelujah. You should see him and you flip me off because you know it's true. Oh, you know it's true that there's a day that you're going to stand before God and the only way you can deal with your conscience is to ridicule. Oh, yes, it's, it's to say, to mock the preacher, to mock the, the Bible, to mock Christ. But you know, you know you're going to be judged. You know, you know you're going to stand before God. And I'm telling you, it's not by deeds of righteousness that you have done. You're not going to stand before God and say you're a good person. Oh, look at my hair. Look at the way I dress. Oh, look at the things that I've done. No, on that day. When you stand before Jesus Christ, He's going to show you. Oh, He's going to show you your wicked heart. Right. He's going to show you your, your sins that you rejected. No, Jesus hates rock and roll. No, Jesus hates it. I can show you right in the Bible. Right in the Bible. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I can show you clearly what God loves and what God hates. I know Him. I know Him. I have a relationship with Him. I walk with Him. I serve Him. I'm friends with Him. I'm friends with God. You're an enemy of God because you love your wicked works. You love your sin. You love doing what you want. You're all breakers. You break God's law. You might not break the laws of the land and be caught by a police officer, but I'm telling you, God is watching. You're going to be held accountable. You're going to give an account. You're going to stand before Him who knows all, controls all, sees all. And when you stand before him, there's nothing that you can do to justify yourself. You can't stand before God and say, I just had sex out of marriage a few times. I really loved him. Hey, I, I just smoked that joint. I just stuff. Hey, it really felt good. I just went to Def Leppard because, hey, it was really good music. No, God says whatever you do in word and deed, you do for his glory. This does not glorify God. What does it mean to glorify God? What does that mean? I mean, these words to you are for it. It means that you are enjoying, you're enjoying the fullness of who God is, His presence. You're enjoying a peace, you're enjoying rest. Oh yes, you're enjoying, you're enjoying Him that you have made peace with. You haven't made peace with God, the wicked have no peace, they have no rest. You don't know what the quietness of the soul is, where you walk with God, or you walk with demons. You're going to go sacrifice the devil. I know, and they're never going to satisfy your soul. You're never going to be fulfilled. You're never going to come to that place of true satisfaction, true prosperity. Oh, prosperity is in the presence of God. That's true. Oh, prosperity is the inheritance of Jesus Christ. Anything that would, would rob him of his glory. Death, leopard, and heart, it grieves God. Makes That's God angry. True. Makes God angry that you can promote being a lesbian, that you can promote homosexuality, you can promote sodomy. And God says it is wicked. God says it is ungodly and unclean. You need to repent. You need to repent. You need to humble yourself. You need to draw near to God. He will draw near to you, sinners. You need to cleanse your hands. You need to turn. Turn from your ungodly, ungodly ways. Seek the Lord while he can be found. Call upon him while he is near. He's near to the broken and God. He's near. Will you turn from your ungodly ways? Your idolatry. You know what idolatry is? Is that what you worship? I know you don't want to hear, but you got to hear because you've been blinded by the God of this world. Satan, Lucifer has blinded your eyes, and I'm going to come out with the light, and I'm going to shine it in your face. I'm going to be a bright light that you might turn, that you might turn and not be an alcoholic, that you wouldn't be a drunk, that you wouldn't be a drug dealer, you wouldn't be a prostitute, you wouldn't do these things that are that are ungodly. You wouldn't be a pervert, pervert the gospel. Oh no, you would do what is holy and righteous and good and beautiful in the sight of God. He would bless you. He would walk with you. You would, you would know what peace is and joy, satisfaction, prosperity of the soul, the treasure, the treasure of the soul. This is way too deep. He's got a sea like that. Oh, way too deep. You don't understand what I'm talking about, so I'm asking God to give you a revelation of God. You need a revelation of God. God needs to give you a revelation of himself. 
I live on that. I, I desire that daily, moment by moment. If God does not give me a revelation of himself, I die. I die because he is the source of life. He knows the meaning of life. And I hope God would open up your eyes, open up your heart, that you would hear the gospel, the good news of how Christ died for your sins, took the punishment of your sins, was crucified, beaten, spit upon. He, he died in your place as a substitute for you. If you reject it, you will go to hell. If you humble yourself and confess your sin, your crimes, and say, Christ, you are my Savior, you will be saved. Yeah. You must realize the seriousness of sin. That's why we talk about sin. Because it has, sin is relative. Your sin is different than his. Oh, it's not that bad to have sex out of marriage. Oh, it's not that bad. I love her. No, it's wicked. It's fornication. It's not bad lying to your parents or being dishonest. It's, it's okay. No, God says you're a liar. It's, it's, it's wicked to steal. If you take something that does not belong to you, you're a thief. And God says it is wrong, and you will be judged as a thief. Are you not concerned about it? How many people have you ripped off? How many people have you lied to? How many people have you cheated and conned and manipulated? Oh, I'm telling you, God says, God says looking at pornography is sin. Is sin. Porno is sin. God says it. It's very clear. It's very, it's very clear in the Word of God. These things that I speak to you. These things that I tell you, that you might understand what is sin. Sin is what separates you from God. Your sin has separated you from God. And so we, we write down a few sins here that you might understand. Because you don't think homosexuality is sin. You, you don't think these things of, of indulging in alcohol, being a drunkard. Yeah, indulging in alcohol. Catching a buzz. When God says... But that is sin. It's very simple. We're here because we want you to come to know Christ as your Savior. Come. Come. Come to the Lord. Come. Taste and see. Come. Talk to us. Come. Not to sin. You love Christ more than yourself. You love Christ more than death leopard. You love Jesus Christ so much. You love him that you're going to show him your love by obedience. Walking in the place that is pleasing to him. That you're a fragrant aroma. Right now you're a stench. Right now you're a stench. You know what a stench is? Uh, it's an abomination. It's that which is vile. That is your attitude. Your attitude, your behavior, the way you live, the way you think, the words you speak, everything that comes out of your heart. Yes, your fruit is rotten until you come to Christ and get a new heart, again new spirit, you're born again. You're changed. You're changed by the power of God. As many of those who receive Him, receive the power of God, become sons of God. That's why we're out here you. today. The God of this world is blind in the mind. The truth is that you might hear the gospel. She comes out and speaks to her mega phone. Your godly way. Oh, the way you live in secret. The way you live in secret is what God sees. I know it's scary. What you do in secret is what God sees. When you're all by yourself, the imaginations of the thoughts of man's heart are evil continually. That's true. I mean, just like in the days of Noah. Right before the flood, right before God destroys the earth again, the heart of man is wicked. The love of many are growing cold. Hatred. Oh, then you mock it. You think that God, God's not going to hold you accountable for being a blasphemer? The way that you live as a hypocrite? Oh, you say hallelujah with your mouth. But your lifestyle, the lifestyle that you live is, is ungodly, is unholy. It's wicked. So I come out here and I talk about what is good and what is bad, what is righteous and what is wicked, what is light and what is darkness. You're walking in darkness, I'm walking in light. I'm walking in the light. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Do you know Jesus Christ? Are you in him? Are you abiding in him? Have you put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh? Are you walking in the light? He says, if you walk in the light, you will not abide in darkness. See, right now you're walking in darkness. You can't see where you're going. You're, you're blinded. But you need light. You need light. You need light. Oh, you need to repent. You need to turn. You need to turn from your ungodly lifestyle. You need to turn. I don't want you to go to hell. I'm 